Hey guys, what's up? It's Eunice and welcome back to my channel. So as you can see from the title of this video, we are going to be talking about a new brand that I've never talked about here on my channel and that is the Tevion brand. So we are going to be talking about just one product because this is the only Tevion product I have here but I do have a lot to say about this product. So before we get into the product itself, let's talk about the brand because I haven't talked about this brand on my channel just yet. So if you guys aren't familiar with the Tevion brand, I wasn't too familiar up until I got this palette then last year. So Tevion is a new locally available brand in the Philippines launched by renowned celebrity makeup artist Albert Kurniawan. He is an Indonesian makeup artist known for his artistry when it comes to celebrity makeup. He's worked with Heart Evangelista, Kim Chu, um, just recently I think he did the makeup look of one of the princesses who got married in Indonesia, I believe. So when he launched this brand, he was already in the industry for 10 years. Kung hindi siya magaling and kung hindi siya meticulous sa mga ginagamit niya, I don't think he would last 10 years in the industry. So when I found out about that, sabi ko, shocks, I want to try all his other products then, kasi isa lang yung meron ako and like I said I just have the eyeshadow palette which we'll dive into a little bit later. So Tevion is actually formulated and made in Italy. At first I wasn't sure if it was made manufactured in Italy because on their website it only said na it's formulated in Italy but they don't really talk about where it's manufactured. Tapos at the back of my palette, I'm not sure if you guys can see that, hopefully you can, it just says Milan Italy. It doesn't have this words made in. I threw away the packaging earlier this year because I've had this for six months now, really trying it and te testing it out before I filmed this review video. But anyway, back to where it's manufactured. So I did my research and ang hirap kasi wala akong mahanap na um, na information on where it's manufactured but I stumbled upon an interview with preview.ph where Albert himself actually said he actually said while developing the products yeah, and while developing the products, people asked me why I spent so much time traveling back and forth from the Italy to the Philippines. I just couldn't share the secret. People may think that I'm always on vacation, but in fact, I was involving myself in every step since the products are made in Italy. So I think you know proof that it's manufactured in Italy, Asha. So it's formulated and manufactured in Italy, which I think contributes to the high price point of this product. It's more of a luxury, um, high-end brand, and I can see that with the way that their website looks, where they're available. I think you can buy it at Restance or their website lang. And yung packaging niya din, yung font, yung look and feel nga nung, nung social channels nila is very high-end and very elegant looking. It's not your typical everyday products. Strong, versatile, independent, full of dignity, and full of grace. I just love it whenever marketing speaks to me. I know, ang hirap because as a marketing ako, pero yung mga ganitong banat, sobrang na parang nabebenta ako. Like, mas lalo kung gustong bumili ng products kasi feeling ko, relate ako sa gusto nilang, um, gusto nilang iparating. Anyway, like I said, it's formulated in Italy, manufactured in Italy because that's what Albert said in his interview. And then, it's meant for any skill level. So, mapabeginner ka, you're just getting into makeup or professional ka na and sobrang alam mo, ang dami mo nang alam sa makeup. The brand is for you. So, so I have one of the four palettes that he launched in collaboration with Heart Evangelista, which is also his muse. I think Heart paved the way for Albert to get into the industry. Parang for the last 10 years, sila yata yung talaga magka-work and that's why yung first line niya, he wanted to pay tribute to Heart as a thank you for what Heart has done for him. So I have the palette Senorita, which is not your typical eyeshadow palette and it's not my typical eyeshadow palette because walang neutral colors dito guys. It's not my typical brown champagne, warm orange na look. So I really had to step out of my comfort zone when it came to this palette. So the description on their website says, Life is an endless party, finding love and enjoying her youth. 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 Senorita is the embodiment of rebellious passion. She is charming and mysterious, a soul that has been set on fire. Ladylike tones for a look that's forever young. So, di ba? Parang yung pag... Yung, di siya yung typical description mo eh. Parang pag binabasa mo siya, parang... Ah. 
Ewan ko. Sobrang lagi ako. Ako lang ba yung nabibenta ng marketing ng ganun? But anyway, the palette retails for 2,450 pesos. Like I said, it's not your affordable makeup palette. But when we talk about the formula, guys, this is why I will tell you na worth it yung 2,450 pesos nyo. Especially if gusto nyo mag-invest in a nice palette na maganda yung formula na it will hold its pigment throughout the end of the night. So this palette has four mattes, four shimmers, and four holographic shades. So first, let's talk about the packaging. Like I said, it feels very luxurious. Luxurious? It feels it feels very luxurious. May weight siya, hindi siya super gaan. It's not, it's not the cheap plastic na typical packaging ng eyeshadow palettes. And like I said, may weight so medyo feeling luxury siya. And maganda yung mirror niya kasi kita mo yung buong face mo, it makes applying makeup so much easier. And yung palette niya, yung layout niya is very similar to the tartlet palettes which I love because these wide rectangular pans make it a lot easier for me to get my brush into the pans. When it comes to the formula, it's very blendable and it's also buildable. It's not your typical, kung kayo yung type na ang gusto nyo, when you test out palettes, you use your finger, you rub the, your finger on the shade and then swatch it. Tapos, pag maganda siya yung swatch, bibili nyo na. Guys, kasi ang naiisip ko pag ginagawa ko yun, finger ko ba yung ginagamit ko pang apply ng eyeshadow sa lids ko? Diba hindi? Diba brush? So, I like to swatch it with a brush. And here is my swatch photo of all of the shades on my arm. I use a wet brush and a dry brush on this one. And to be honest, walang difference yung dry cha wet. Although, when it comes to applying the shimmers on my lid, I do like applying some setting spray on my brush first because to me, dun ko dun super nakikita yung pigment ng shimmers eh. I also don't like applying the shimmers with my finger. para mas maganda siya with a brush. Although, you don't have to wet it kasi alone, it's already nice. Pero kung gusto mo ng mas pigmented na look, I highly recommend um spraying your brush with a setting spray before applying the eyeshadow para mas makita mo yung shimmer on your lids. So, the, when it comes to the matte shades naman, there's, a couple, there's four matte shades right here and they're all like brown cool tones. Hindi siya patchy at all. Ayoko ng dark brown when it comes comes to eyeshadow kasi feeling ko ang muddy niya tingnan sa lids ko pero when it comes to the browns here hindi ko na experience yon and like i said it's not patchy ang dali niya magblend na nagiging seamless talaga yung look ko tapos kapag binleblend ko siya with an orange ang ganda nung effect niya and it's very it's definitely something different than my typical cut crease eyeshadow looks and to me, when I use this palette, parang feeling ko nagpa-apply ako ng makeup sa isang makeup artist. I know I'm not that great when it comes to apl applying eyeshadows, pero yun yung na-feel ko whenever I'm using this palette. There's also not that much kickback or fallout when it comes to the shades in this palette. And it's actually a palette that I don't mind using after I've already applied my base makeup. Although, mas prefer ko lang talaga naga eyeshadow before my base makeup kasi... Hindi ko lang tinatrust yung sarili ko talaga when it comes to that. So, but if you're into applying base makeup first and then eyeshadow or biglang at the last minute na decide mo na mag-apply ng eyeshadow, you can definitely use this kasi wala siya masyadong fallout. If there is, very minimal siya. So overall, the price is not the cheapest when it comes to Tevion. But know that you're getting what you paid for kasi... Yung formula, niya, yung formula niya talaga is very comparable to my international high-end luxury brands. If not, it's even better. When it comes to the colors naman in this particular palette, at first, it might be in too intimidating kasi hindi siya yung typical yun na browns, nudes, champagnes, white, shimmer, pink, ganyan, orange. Very different yung mix ng shades nito. But it made me step out of my comfort comfort zone and it challenged me to try something new when it comes to eyeshadow application. So that is all I have to say about the eyeshadow palette. All in all, overall, I really do like it. The formula is divine. I love it. I love how buildable it is. I'm someone who doesn't like super pigmented eyeshadow at first. Gusto ko yung ibibuild ko siya ng ibibuild hanggang makuha ko yung gusto kong intensity ng look. I also appreciate how their social media team handles um, user-generated content and also Albert Kurniawan himself. Because when I first stared at this eyeshadow palette, I didn't know what to do. So I messaged him on Instagram. And nakakatawa kasi for sure ang dami ng DMs kasi he's, you know, a very known makeup artist and he has a YouTube channel and all that. So I messaged him, Hi Sir Albert, I'm doing a review of your eyeshadow palette. I really don't know what to do because 
these are shades that I don't work with. Um, is there anything that you will recommend that I create? Ganyan, ganyan. What to use? Tapos parang nag-reply lang siya. I'm actually coming up with an eyeshadow video. You could just watch that. Ganyan. So he's very nice. Um, from that small interaction, I can see na mabuting tao siya. Ganyan. And whenever I watch his videos too, I love that he shares what to do or like his artistry on YouTube kung paano niya gawin in a way na it's not bashing the faults or yung mga not so typical things that we who didn't get a formal education the owner of the brands or the people behind the brand are very nice and very down to earth as well i think it really speaks to the brand it, it makes me as a person want to buy their products even more because i know the people behind it really is really making these products for the people so for this video i'm going to insert two mini tutorials on this eyeshadow palette that i created the first one is a recreation from a tutorial that our albert kurnia one uploaded on his youtube channel i'll link his video in the comment section down below but that is my recreation using this palette and then the second look is this look that i actually came up with i'm not i don't usually do looks like this i don't usually use purple eyeshadow pero when i did this para ako ay pwede ko pala gawin yun so yeah i hope that you guys enjoyed this video i hope that you learned something new i'm going to end this video right here if you want to see the tutorial on how i created this look just keep on watching if not uh thank you for watching this video so i'll see you guys next time bye okay so for this first look i'm taking a flat eyeshadow brush and i'm using the shade chica and i'm just applying this all over my lid if i remember correctly this is when i didn't spray setting spray on my brush so this is completely just the eyeshadow and the brush working its magic now i'm taking a small blending brush and i'm taking the shade sangria and i am applying this on my crease so starting out with the outer corners and then eventually bringing that in and really deepening out my crease. Now I'm just taking a fluffy blending brush and I'm using this to blend the outer edges just to have a more seamless eyeshadow look. Now I'm taking an angled blending brush and I'm using the shade Poppy to deepen out the outer corners. Now I'm taking my small blending brush and I'm just blending that two shadows together. Now I'm just taking my fluffy blending brush and just blending it all together again. And then I'm going back with my flat eyeshadow brush and reapplying the shade Chica up top. Now I'm taking a small smudge brush and I'm using the shade Sangria and I'm applying that on my lower tear duct. And then we're going to deepen that out a bit with the shade Poppy just so that it matches our eyelids. I did apply a little too much on this one so I had to clean my brush and then kind of blend that out to create a better look. So I must admit, after watching this video, I realized that the eye that I did on camera was a lot darker, like the pigments were a lot darker than my the first eye. Then I'm finishing up the look with a thin liner. I'm using the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner and then I'm tight lining my eyes using the Marc Jacobs Gel Eyeliner.
So here is the finished look. This is a more neutral, soft glam look. So first, I'm priming my eyes using the Essence I Love Stage Eyeshadow Base. This is my all-time favorite eyeshadow primer. If you guys don't know, I think I use this in every single tutorial. <laughs> And then I'm using the Glossier Wilder just to set that eyeshadow base. Now I'm taking the same flat eyeshadow brush and I'm taking the shade Beso. And then I spritz a little bit of setting spray on it and I'm applying this all over my lid. Now I'm taking my small blending brush and I'm using the shade Fantasia, Fantasia, Fun, I don't know how you pronounce it, but I guess Fantasia, like the American Idol singer, contestant, I mean. So I'm just applying that all over my crease as my transition shade. Now I'm taking my fluffy blending brush. This is, I think, the Sigma E45 blending brush. And I'm just blending out the outer edges of my transition shade. Now I'm taking my small angled blending brush and I'm taking the shade Vivir. And I'm focusing this on the outer corners and then eventually bringing it in as well. Now I'm taking my fluffy blending brush and I'm just blending all the shades together. Then I'm going back to my flat eyeshadow brush and I'm taking the shade Beso and reapplying the shimmer just to have a more vivid eyeshadow look. I'm taking my small smudge brush and I'm using the shade Fantasia on my lower tear duct. And then just to deepen that and match our lids, I'm taking the shade Vivir and I'm focusing that on the outer lower tear duct. So I'm just blending out and blending out. Now I'm just tight lining my eyes using again the Marc Jacobs eyeliner and then I'm creating a mini winged liner using the Maybelline. And here is the finished makeup look.